Hot tub. No. That's jokes. <laughs> Got this. Oh. Steph drove through over a bowl and unfortunately popped our tyre and no one can fix it till Monday. So we had to borrow a friend's car. So big up to her friend because we were able to get here. Where's the bloody break in this car? This is cute. Oh wait, look. Yeah, man. Sick. Got some goo. We've got the munch, coffee cake, macaroons and scones, bear sarnies, hummuses, scotch eggs, all the jazz, more sarnies, an entire cheese board. Shout out to everyone that said happy birthday. Appreciate you all. 30 today, a massive one. Here's to over 30 years. Let's fucking get it. It's nice. We've got one. No, like a I do, but because mum and dad have had one, it's just hot tub. No. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning. I should be at the gym right now. However, we don't have a car because obviously the tyre's flat and I'm not insured on Steph's friend's car. So I can't go to the gym. So I'm going to switch my days up. I'm going to go tomorrow instead. It's all good. We went to Greg's this morning because we didn't have any food. So we ended up getting like a sausage baguette and a croissant. I feel so out of sync. I'm such a routine person. And I have to say, like, at the moment, I'm, like, a bit lost. I'm, like, what the hell? I haven't been to the gym. I haven't had my normal eggs and, like, my eggs for this breakfast. I'm not on my desk. Like, what's going on? It's weird. It's very different. And, obviously, it's only for a day. I think if you're here for a few days, it's easier to get into that routine or whatever. But I'm so routine-based, I end up being, like, oh, my God, I haven't done something. I'll tell you what, I could get used to these views. It's nice. Very peaceful, birds tweeting, Steph peeing. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> That's jokes. <laughs> yeah, just taking in the last sort of couple of hours here, relaxing, had a lot of time to reflect. Obviously in my 30s now, the 30s where most millionaires are made, where the most success happens. You know, I'm feeling really good. I feel like I've laid a lot of strong foundations got myself into a great position. Now it's about capitalising on the opportunities around me. So yeah, I just got in here long. I uh, just got in here. I got in sort of 50% of this bullish candle after this sweep of these 15 minute fractals. Like I said this morning, it may well want to take Asia lows and come and retest this daily open. But if it swept that, I was more than happy to get in. Holding in there, but I'll be honest, I'm pretty confident this takes out these lows. And I'm just gonna pack up now and get ready to head out. So yeah, it's been a sick time. Definitely would come back. Morning everyone, how are we doing? It's Tuesday. I am just about to jump on a call. I thought I'd quickly pick up the camera to make sure I get this segment done and show you yesterday I got a little bit of a humbling on EU. So one trade here yesterday morning when I said, obviously on the forecast, I was looking for longs if that goes. I didn't love it, but I'd take it. Taken out pretty quick. And then in New York, I got in uh, here. Took another one and then I finally went up a little bit later is what it is, a little bit unfortunate. Starting the week with two L's sucks, but at the same time, what can you do? Nothing, you've got to follow your system. And as I said last week, I didn't follow the system and therefore that led to me not capitalizing on the trade that would have put me in profit. So I'm actually down minus five at the moment for Feb, which is frustrating when I look at the month because I should be in profit. However, it's my own fault and it's easy to pass the blame. I've got to get on this call because I'm gonna be late. and I don't do late, late's bad. Always be on time, people. People have been asking me what prop firms to use, what prop firms should I go with, what one's safe. Recently, I've been in talks with Alpha Capital. I've done exactly the same as you guys. I've been looking into what firms have got the right infrastructure in place to last and withstand the test of time. And the guys over there have been incredible. 
Not only do they have their own in-house tech, which is huge, it doesn't mean something's just gonna get switched off willy-nilly, your account's gone. They also have their own broker called ACG Markets, which is regulated by the FSA in the Seychelles, I believe. Now, I know some people might be like, that's not a great jurisdiction or whatever, but it's a jurisdiction that many of these don't even have. And they are looking to do the FCA license as well, I believe, in the next year or so. So again, massive things there. It fills me with a lot of confidence that you know, what they're doing is all good. They own the licenses they have to MetaQuote, C Trader, and DX Trader, I believe as well, which is huge because it means, again, no nasty surprises there. Not only do they offer no commission accounts, which completely being honest, I'd prefer the raw spread just because the way I trade uh, and used to EU being sort of zero or 0.1, 0.2, I did notice sometimes the commission account was going up to sort of like 0.8 to one nearly, which is quite big. So I prefer the raw. I think raw spread is around $2.5 per lot which is actually pretty sick compared to some firms. They always have discount codes on. They've got decent margins. You know, I've asked why can they do the discounts they can do. They've got decent margins, which allows them to do it because they own their own tech, because they own their own broker. Things seem to be set up really well. They've been around for a while as well, which is interesting. It's not like they've just popped up out of nowhere. Also, one of the owners is actually regulated by the FCA and is a stockbroker himself. So again, he's got a reputation to uphold. He knows the game, he knows the industry. Personally, for me, that fills me with a lot more confidence. I'm gonna try and go meet them and bring you all along in the offices in a couple of weeks time, which will be sick. They're also doing a lot of giveaways at the moment. They've asked me if I'd be interested in doing a giveaway for all of you guys and girls. Now, as you know, I'm not a massive fan of giveaways personally, and I don't just wanna do like the usual accounts and stuff. So let me know what you would like. Would you like MacBooks? Would you like iPads? Would you like iPhones? Do you want a trip somewhere? Do you want to come down and meet them in the office and meet me perhaps? Or what would you like? If you can let me know in the comments what you think would be a good giveaway and what I'll do is I'll chat with the guys over there and I'll see if we can get it out for next week's video. Do me a favor, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Click this link. If you sign up through this link, just make yourself an Alpha Capital account. You don't have to purchase a challenge right now if you don't want to. Make an account, you'll automatically get entered into the giveaway, early doors, whatever it is that we decide to give away. Go and check them out, have a play around, grab yourself a free trial, explore the accounts. If you do wanna buy an account, by the way, remember any account bought between now and the end of March will automatically be entered into their Rolex giveaway. I think it's Rolex, free nights in London. I think you can bring a friend, you can go to the offices, meet the guys, go out for dinner with them. There's a couple of other bits, I'll pop it up on screen. It's actually sick, like they're, they're really trying to do different stuff in the space as well. And like I say, with all the stuff they've got going for them behind the scenes, the infrastructure in place, I do feel like they're here to stay. Obviously nothing is ever a guarantee in life. My main focus now is with them. I'm not gonna go around and buy loads of prop accounts. I'm not looking to get millions and millions in funding. I'm thinking more about just scaling with the firms that I'm with. Obviously FTMO has always been top dog. I always say that, I've always said that. Or if you don't wanna pay FTMO's prices, if you don't wanna to have to hit 10%, then again, Alpha Capital is gonna be great for that. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> back to the vlog. Tell them, <laughs> back to the vlog. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? It's Wednesday, just watching EU, looking for longs this morning. Being honest, I would probably like all of that to be gone. We've got our external down here. I'd probably like this to go, see something like this. Um, or we trickle down, take this out and go like that. So we'll see what happens if that lets me in. Also, I'm away to London in about an hour. Um, I've got a meeting and then I'm meeting up with a friend and we're just gonna go grab some lunch. I think we're playing ping pong. We try and do like an activity once a month and some food, just try a new place to eat. So I'll bring you along for that. But while I was doing my NSR on the weekend uh, from last week, I also went over a couple of things from uh, previous months. And I noticed that I found a filter potentially uh, to remove a lot of L's. Um, means less trades, but it removes a lot of L's. Basically remove like six losses from January and one win, but it would have meant January was 100% strike rate. And Feb so far, it removed uh, four L's and a win, but you'd also would have taken an extra win, so you'd be up nicely and you wouldn't have taken as many losses, but you also don't take as many trades, so it means you can't afford to miss the trade. So something that I play around with and um, see if it's worth implementing, and this is what I do when I think something's good uh, or worth adding in after going through all the data from live trading, I will then just get an account that's live, whether it's a prop account, a personal account. I prefer a prop just because I can risk a bit higher on it and see what happens. Um, the risk reward on a prop is just better in my opinion. And I'll just trade it with that and go, right, this is that edge, this is that entry model. Is it better than the current model? If so, cool, let's get three months live data with it and then make a decision. Or I'll just run them side by side for the year and see what happens. Damn, it makes me feel grateful for having a car. But yeah, me Broly's holding in there. It's turned inside out about seven times. We've got this, oh, there we go. <laughs> 
actually in Battersea Power Station. If you've not been, you should probably come. It looks decent. And like Sean's gassed about it. Oh. She's gonna go and play some ping pong now, if we can find it. Fair game, innit? I thought it was gonna be absolutely shit. He's actually really good. And you humbled me. So far. Right, I don't even feel like I'm in London. So this nice. place is lush. It's like how I imagine somewhere in Dubai to be though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so we're going to bounce. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? It's Thursday. I'm just logging into Match Trade. Interesting, can't say it looks the best. Looks a bit bookey. Much prefer C Trader, but I'm not gonna moan. I don't know how good it is. I don't know if it's any good or not. But obviously, yeah, this is the platform Funding Pips have uh, come back. So big ups to Funding Pips, shout out to them, because it's nice to see, obviously, props not just getting disintegrated and killed off. But yeah, I've got to figure out how to trade this bad boy. Tough February continues for me, and I want to talk about it a little bit. Uh, because yesterday, that trade I was in, I will update you all on that now. Again, like I said before, anyone that jumped on this last week, I've still got the 20-day free trial, link in the description. Definitely recommend checking it out. I'm quite enjoying the automated side of journaling. As I said yesterday, I am looking to speak to the guys about adding some improvements, forecasting, advanced self-review sections, a way for you to actually review your trades, maybe more in-depth uh, analysis on certain things. Obviously, yesterday I was in London, as you know, so I got in here yesterday, I had forecast, I said I wanted to see this external guy when it went, we should get a reaction, which we got, which was beautiful. Um, and obviously, you know, I was bullish overall on the daily, so I was looking for those longs to come into play. Um, however, unfortunately, when I got off the train in London and I was going on the underground and stuff, I knew that I wouldn't be able to manage the trade as such, and I still had risk on the trade. So when we were up here, uh, I clicked, I just clicked B on my phone, and I just dragged the line on MT5 up. Unfortunately, in doing that, when we were up here, I didn't quite enter um, on the BE exactly. I kind of ran it up a little bit. Now, I do this sometimes, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 in profit. Just because with commissions and that, it's never actually a BE. You end up taking a loss. And that is another thing with MTJ is it's logging everything because losses, even though some of these have been BEs. Um, not obviously these ones, but on these days, there was like two BEs um, and it's logged them as Ls. So my actual win to loss ratio is all over the place. Again, really unfortunate because I've actually worked out this month, uh, not in hindsight, based on my actual edge. I should be up 9% and I'm actually down 5 So it is tough. It's not ideal, but it's part of being a trader. And, you know, it's not glamorous to talk about this shit. And I get it. People want to hear all the good stuff. But this is the shit that's real. This is the shit that's going to actually allow you to be a trader for long term. He's understanding this shit can happen and dealing with this stuff. And I feel great. Like I have moments where I'm a bit like, oh, you know, like I pride myself on being a good trader. I'm not the best trader in the world, but I can trade and I've made good money from it. And when I'm not like firing on all cylinders, it does frustrate me. But these are moments where they make you want to go and change something or do something nuts. And, you know, the next one could win, but I'm also aware the next one could lose. Unfortunately, some of my accounts are in like 5% drawdown now. So if I do have a heavy couple of L's. I'm going to be in deep drawdown on some accounts. But it is what it is. I'm not going to sit there and stress. I'm not going to sit there and cry about it. I'm not going to let it ruin my day. At the end of the day, they're simulated accounts and they don't have any real meaning. They allow me to make incredible amounts of money. But at the same time, they're not going to govern me and change my mood and my perspective on, on the day. So... Yeah, um, we'll see what happens, but I wanted to share that trade with you all so you could you were aware because I knew people would ask and I didn't get a chance to film much once I was in London. I lost signal and I was trying to be present and busy and whatever and I just um, I just didn't really record it. So yeah, that was the update on that trade. the shop and I forgot to butter. So croissant with jam, that worked for you. Morning people, how are we doing? It's Friday. Just a quick one. Darwin X, if you remember last last week or the week before, they obviously gave me that 90 euro discount code or 85 euro discount code. Um, they messaged me yesterday to say 
the till the end of the month, they are going to give continue to give that code. So if you didn't get involved in Darwin X and obviously you want to, now is probably the best time because it's literally like a Tessy meal deal. Get involved, I'll leave the link below, but you've just got to use Albert 10 and then you can get it for 10 euros instead of 90 euros. But yeah, I'd highly recommend getting involved in it. More and more people are converting to the platform, more and more people are realizing that it's a great thing to have alongside whatever else they've got. Uh, like I say, you can link it with a trade copier. Again, Traders Connect, link in the description. Go and get them guys out over there if you haven't already, because they are literally the leading copier when it comes to the industry. And um, yeah, I'm about to make my eggs. I forgot to get butter when I was in the shop. I knew I needed something. I got eggs and fairy liquid. I was meant to get butter. I didn't. We move. I'm having sourdough with jam and no butter and eggs with no butter and they're on the same plate. And they kind of feel a bit weird. Is it weird, babe? Yeah, I think it's weird. All right, well, whatever. What's happening, people? How are we doing? Just watching EU, seeing if I'm gonna get a long. Uh, if I pull up the old chart of Rooney for you can see. So, still long bias. I was long yesterday, but obviously it just went, said see it in a bit, and then there was no opportunity for me to get in short. I've now had this go here, so I'm looking to see what happens. Uh, we've had this event, it's nothing major on Forex Factory, so, uh, not that asked, but yeah, looking to see if we can maybe do something like this and then something like this. Obviously, mindful we've run all this and that, so we could be coming for this and we could be seeing that new change in trend and turning fully bearish. If you look at the daily, obviously, we've come into this, we've swept this, which is kind of like your inducement or whatever we're calling it these days. That's taken out, and then we could see this obviously because we are just following bearish OF, if you like. Uh, however, we have had that slight break there. Um, which could, you know, confirm high prices. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm still long at the moment. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Obviously, it's Friday, so I'm not looking to rush into anything. Quiet week this week. One thing I'm just deep in at the moment is I'm actually just trying to figure out what the best plan of attack is in terms of trading all my accounts. So obviously, I've got MT5, which is on the copier, and that's got like four, five accounts on with my personal. Then I've got Match Trade, obviously with funding pips, which I can't say I'm loving. You know, the fact you can't drag the lines and stuff, I'm just not a fan. I know they're looking to bring C Trader out though, which will be good because then it means you can literally just stick C Trader on a copier and happy days. Obviously, Traders Connect on that. So again, keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm hearing that other copiers apparently are not going to C Trader or DX Trade or anything, which is mind boggling to think they're literally willing to throw that business away but I guess that's where Traders Connect come Trump but if you do get C Trader and I guess this goes across any of the platforms often you'll find up here where it says quantity it will say volume and it will be like a million units or, or it will say units and it will be like a million or something if you just pop down here to the bottom left and settings and then you go to assets all you've got to do is change the for well you can change all of them it depends what you what you trade just change them to lots and then instantly this will change to lots and then yeah, job done. I get used to C Trader again, I guess. I used to always love C Trader. It's such a clean platform. It's just at the time there was no copy trading facilities, and once you got more than one account and you had personals, it just didn't work. But I think once this is all sort of set up and running, it's going to be game changing. And then um, yeah, we'll go from there. Obviously, I'm just going to try and what I'm going to do is if I mentioned there in this in the vlog, I'm basically going to just trade C Trader and Match Trade. Um, with the new refinement that I found that I was telling you about. And then I'm gonna trade my other accounts on the M5 with the current entry model. And I'm just gonna compare them up because obviously a lot of my accounts are in like 5% drawdown, which I shouldn't be. Like I said, I should be up 9% for Feb, not ideal. But it happens, that is what I'm trying to highlight. It can happen no matter how good the month was or whatever your edge says. If you didn't execute on them as the trader, then you know you are the one at fault. You have it's your problem, it's your beef. You have got to deal with it. Obviously, I've got Darwin X as well on the copier. They're on MT5. I don't know if Darwin X are looking to change to another platform such as C Trader or anything. But again, I think because they own their own brokerage and they own their licensing, I think they're fine. And that's the thing. Some people are going to stay on MT5, so it's not like MT5's gone. Again, Alpha are going to keep MT5. You know, they own the license for it from Meta Quotes and that, and and they've got their own brokerage. So, I'm I'm. Remember, not, not MT5 is not going to be redundant. I think FTMO will probably stay on MT5 as well. So it's like you're just going to have to get used to potentially trading multiple different accounts. The reason I grabbed the C trader with Alpha is I just thought I'll give it a whirl, I'll give it a try. I'm going to crack on for the rest of the day and I'll pick this up in a little bit, people. What's happening, people? So a bit of a quiet Friday in terms of the vlog. However, I've got a lot of stuff done, managed to finish up a lot of things I need to sort out. And I'm just waiting for the girls to get home now. They'll be back in about half an hour. So I'm just going to go chill with them. I think we're going to order some pizza tonight and just chill out, watch a film, and just uh, 
just enjoy Friday night, mate. So without further ado, I wanted to jump on, finish the vlog properly and say I hope you all have a fantastic week ahead. Appreciate all your love and support and watching as always. Remember, let me know in the comments about the giveaway for Alpha and we will see what I can get sorted for you all. And without further ado, I will catch you on next week's vlog. Peace and love, gang.